there is a land anointing of God that Satan is very conscious of this land anointing because you remember there was a land that Havila, Havila was a land that Adam had access to. And Satan knew that Adam was going to be able to enter into that land of Havilah and move in a financial glory with God. And Satan didn't want Adam to get to that land. The sin of eating that tree was to interrupt the full plan for Adam to get to that land. That land was a place where the gold was good, which means that that place was operating with a financial glory that was greater. Uh, it was greater than all of the, the levels of provision that Adam was experiencing. It was greater. It was, it was promotional. It was something that Adam was going to receive as a promotion, as a graduation. And then saints, remember this. Remember what the word of God said that the children of Israel was promised a land flowing with milk and honey. This is their havila. Their havila is dealing with a land that uh, is flowing with milk and honey. You notice here's God giving them a promise of havila. This is amazing. So God gave Adam a promise of a villa. God gave the children of Israel the promise of a villa. And look, when the children of Israel is in the wilderness, look how evil they are. They're losing to Satan because Satan already planned to take them out of the land. The land was carrying a financial promotion a financial increase, a financial life of victory and glory and power and increase and abundance. I want you to think about this. Every time God promised somebody a land, here comes Satan buffeting them, hoping that Satan could trick them out of the land. Here comes Satan giving them ideas and reactions and ways and concepts and mindsets and dreams and discouragements and weariness and tiredness and frustration and they're mad, they're upset, they don't have no joy, they don't have no peace. And they can't recognize that Satan has a revelation of the land better than they do. Satan knows the land better than them. So while they get upset, while they get disturbed, while they get bothered, Satan is be behind that influence that's going on in their mentality so that they don't enter into the land. You notice. The children of Israel didn't even get into the land through Moses. And that was the original plan of God. God's will don't be happening. Listen to me, precious people. God's will don't be being done. So when, when, if, when, you, when you hear those people be talking, so God, whatever God has for me is for me. And whatever God want to do in my life is going to happen. And I, I, that's not, that's not even a, a sane statement. It is insane like the person that's saying it. Because God's will happens through the dedication of the one that is receiving. If you take a note, write that down. God's will happens through the dedication of the one that's receiving it. So God's will don't even be done without the dedication of the, ve the vessel that it is being done for. God's will only is done through the dedication of the vessel. Saints, look, look, at, look at the Garden of Gethsemane. 
what you're seeing is the seed is persevering. The seed is being sown aggressively. The seed, Jesus, the garden of Gethsemane, are you listening to me? The seed is being sown aggressively. And the seed got to overcome all things to be sown. That's how it is in your life. You got to overcome all things to sow seeds. Sow the seeds of the spirit. Sow the seeds that God wants you to sow out of your mouth. Everything that you think you're not supposed to say. It. Everything that you want to utter, you're not supposed to speak it. And saints, I'm going to tell you like this here. Everything that you say, it transports you to hell or to heaven. Every single thing, even a joke, even a joke, a joke is taking you to heaven, is taking you to hell. Words were created as wings. So words is where you fly. The territory that every man and every woman flies is by their words. So if you want to know where you're going, look at the words you're sowing. Look at the money you're sowing. Look at the learning that's being sown into you. The law, no, as a matter of fact, the learning that you're sowing. Because you have to sow learning to learn. Look at this. Every time God spoke about land, Satan buffeted the man. Every time God spoke about land, Satan buffeted the man. I just gave you the example with Adam and Havilah. And then I gave you the example of um, the children of Israel promised a land full of milk and honey. Now, let me give you an example of Ananias and Sapphira. Do you know the whole reason why God is confronting them about the seed? Because their land was just sold. There was a buyer that bought the land that they had on the market. So when the land was, was, was sold to a, a buyer, Ananias got the money. Ananias got the money. Sapphira is the wife. He tells his wife, baby, we just got the money, but here's what we're going to do. We're not going to do what everybody else is doing. Just follow me. This is a natural man, just like me. I'm going to tell him that this not all the money. This all the money we got. We're going to store the rest money and we're going to handle our bills. We got some problems. We got some debts. We got some things in our life we need to fix. And, and we're not going to be sowing like these people. So they up there giving all the money to this man and stuff like that. No, we're going to give him a part of it, but we're going to keep the rest for ourselves and we're going to handle what we need to handle. And she said, okay, baby, we'll do that. And they come into agreement. Now, here's the plot twist. Here's the plot twist. The plot twist is this. God had promised Ananias a new land. The secret of the land was this. If he would have sold, God was going to take the land that he just sold, that, that, that he just received the, the money from, and he was going to restore a bigger and better land to Ananias. But Ananias can't see it. Satan can. And saints, I want you to hear me. A lot of people be talking about Satan don't know what God has for is hidden. The plans is hidden. 
No, it's not. That's why I say to be looking at you like you're stupid. That's why I'm going to trick you because you can't see. Satan wouldn't attack somebody if there's no precious cargo awaiting them on the other side. That would be a waste of time, correct? Yeah. If I'm attacking you and your future is underneath a bridge, Whoop de do! I just accomplished something powerful. No, but if I know that there's high ceilings, if I know that there's Bentleys, if I know that there's Gucci's, if I know that there's Rolexes, if I know that this is a lender and not a borrower, if I know that this person going to accumulate millions of dollars for the kingdom, not by natural means, but by a all, by a all, because you got all, not because you educated, because you got all. Not because you finish all school levels, but because you got all. Not because your grandpa, your great grandma gave you an estate. Not because your parents was rich. Not because your siblings handed something to you, but because of all. All. You are all mine. You are all mine with an all mine. And until you start digging and tapping in to the all that's inside of you by the Holy Ghost, you're going to be living normal like everybody else. And there's a supernatural plan that you've been called to take. You got a Havila that's waiting for you. And Satan got you up there playing with yourself, lusting. You up there doing all type of BS. That's why your behind ain't got no energy because you playing with the devil. That's why you don't have no strength inside of you because you're not fully engrafted into the presence of God. You are a wayward stray dog. You go from one focus to the next focus. Your focus is not Jesus. The way that we step into the hundredfold return is not by going to the left and going to the right. It's not by you being a stray dog taking in all type of information is by you sitting at the feet of Jesus to learn of him take it off of you forget about you forget about you is not about learning about you or oh, I'm still finding myself that's why the, the whole world is trying to find themselves. You know, I'm still mastering myself. I'm still finding out who I am. As I get older, I'm learning about me. And I'm, 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 it's about me in this time, you know. And I'm going to make it about me in this time. And, you know, this is the time for me. The world been hoodwinked by Satan. Everybody was given their learning abilities, not for you to learn about you. For you to learn about him. Come learn of me. You notice the Lord didn't say learn of me. He said come. That means that you have to make an action to go after him. That means that he's not coming to you for you to learn. He's saying, come to me so that I could tell you about me. And when you don't learn of Jesus, you don't get to the land. Because the land is really an outpouring of Jesus. That's why the children of Israel didn't make it. That's why Adam didn't make it. That's why Ananias didn't make it. The land is really the Lord pouring out himself in beautiful scenery, in wealth. Did you know that money is an offspring of God's spirit? If you're taking notes, write that down. Money is an offspring of God's spirit. So when God pours out his spirit, you receive money because that's who he is. Money is an offspring of God's spirit. 
And every time God has promised to give you land, Satan starts to infiltrate the mind with lust and evil and wickedness and ungodliness. And you actually go further in demonic things than you ever went in the spirit. Have you ever flew? Have you ever ascended? How many of you all have been to the cafeteria in heaven? How many of you all have gone to the donut shop in heaven? You ever been there? Huh? You ever went to the location where angels are chefs? The same angel that brought Elijah food? Have you ever met that angel? But it's, a, it's funny how you go to the depths of hell and you sin and you discover new sin. You get the hookah and you puff it after all I invested in you. I'm just prophesying. I can't talk to you privately, so I'm just prophesying to you while I'm in the prophetic. After all I invested in you, you take my wisdom and you go get a hook, hookah. And you smoke it with friends. That's where you done come to? Huh? Huh? By the way, if you don't understand... I can see you and I can see a lot of people that come into this ministry. I've been given this grace and a lot of people that have even been converted and delivered from demons. This is how I reach them, through prophecy, through word of knowledge. How is it that Satan takes a man a million steps into evil? Voluntarily, the person involuntarily goes. But when you're operating with God, you take 50 steps. When you operate with Satan, you take a million. What is really going on here? Do you understand the promise of the land causes Satan to buffet the man? And Ananias never got the land. Adam never got the land. The Bible said even the land where he was at, God drove him out of the land. Shh. The children of Israel never got the land. They died. The generation after them got it through Joshua, through Yeshua, through Jesus. Moses didn't succeed in getting them into the land. But Moses represented law. Joshua represented Jesus. They only could get in through Jesus. Jesus was that pure well. Jesus was that pure anointed. Jesus was that harvest that they was waiting for. Jesus was the multiplication of their seed sown. Jesus was their leader to defeat all the enemies, the Philistines, the, 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 all the Hittites, everybody that will come up against them. It was through Jesus that they officially moved their money cometh. They officially moved their wealth. They officially saw the land that Satan was knowledgeable about. It was able to influence the people to walk contrary to the Lord so they wouldn't inherit that land. But through Joshua, through Yeshua, through Jesus, they got into that land.